so in today's video I'll be talking about the six common mistakes when filling in your eyebrows and also how to avoid them. I also have two similar videos to this one where I'm talking about the mistakes when applying eyeliner and mascara. So if you're interested, I'll have the links down in the description box so you can go and check them out. Today our subject is the eyebrows, so let's go ahead and get started. Mistake number one is not brushing your eyebrows before you start filling them in. Before you start applying anything on your eyebrows, you want to take a clean spoolie and brush the hair upwards. You can also use a clear brow gel, this is going to just keep the hairs in place for a little bit longer. Or you can also go with a tinted brow gel, it's going to add some more definition to your brows. And by brushing the hairs upwards, you also make your eyebrows look a lot thicker. On the first photo is how my brow hairs naturally stand. And for the second one, I use some clear brow gel to brush them upwards. And you can see that by doing this really simple step, I added a lot more volume and lift to my eyebrows. You always want to start off with a nice base. And if your hairs are a little bit too long, you can always like trim them a little bit. But don't go crazy with the scissors. Just a little bit. Okay. Mistake number two is using too much product. Now, this is a really, really common mistake. It can make your eyebrows look like they're painted on, and even if the product that you use is the perfect shade for you, if you use too much of it, if you apply too many layers of it, it can make your eyebrows look a lot darker. So what I suggest you do is you start off by filling in the gap areas. Always make sure that you use a small amount of product at time and uh, slowly build it up. You can always add, but it's kind of difficult to to erase it so keep that in mind then you can do some touch-ups for the shape of the eyebrow maybe you want to pull the arch a little bit higher or you want to extend the tail or any other change that you want to do so that both your eyebrows look a little bit more symmetrical but always remember that you want to take a very small amount of product at time on your brush use very light pressure and do short strokes this is the key Mistake number three is starting off by filling in the front area of your eyebrows. By doing this, you can very easily end up with really harsh eyebrows. As I said in the previous mistake, you always want to make sure that you start off by filling in the gaps first. And if you're thinking like, okay, but I have gaps at the front area of my eyebrows, what should I do? Don't worry. Remember that in order for the eyebrows to look more natural, you always want to make sure that the hairs at the front area look a little bit more sparse than the rest of the eyebrow. There is one really easy trick that you can do to avoid this mistake. You're going to dip your brush in the product and then you're going to use it, let's say, to fill in the gaps or for the tail. And then with whatever you have on the brush, you don't want to load it again with product. You're going to do small strokes at the beginning of your eyebrow. You want to kind of mimic the look of natural hairs and because the brush has a really small amount of product in it at this point, it will actually prevent you from overfilling in the front part. Mistake number four is using the wrong brush. If you prefer filling in your eyebrows with cream or powder products, you should also consider the brush that you're using to apply them. I prefer using an angled brush to fill in my eyebrows, but they can be really different one from the other. I'm going to show you what I mean. I want to suggest you to use one that is really thick because you won't be able to do really crisp lines. It just won't allow you to be really precise. I love using angled brushes that are really thin. My favorite one is by Anastasia Beverly Hills, it's number 12 and um, it also has a spoolie on the other end, it's really convenient. But if you're on the budget, the one by Essence is actually really good as well. I think that they call it eyeliner brush, but you can also use it on your eyebrows. It's really convenient and it's really, really affordable. I prefer using thinner brushes because they really give me the ability to create really sharp crisp lines and I can create like fake hairs with them when I'm going for more natural looking brows. Mistake number five is drawing thick straight lines. You don't want to create really harsh defined lines when you're filling in your eyebrows because it's only going to make them look like they're painted on. You want to avoid outlining your eyebrows. What you want to do instead is you want to feather in the product. You want to be very light handed and you want to fill in your eyebrows using very small strokes instead of doing just one straight line. This way the product will blend better with the brow hairs and it will give you a lot more natural looking eyebrows. Mistake number six is you're using the wrong product. 
there are a couple of different products that you can use to fill in your eyebrows you can go with powder pomade pencil gel i know that it can be a struggle to find the best one for you but it really depends on the finish that you prefer i'll quickly go through all of them so that maybe i help you decide which one works best for you powders are great for those of you who are now starting off with makeup and they're also perfect for those who have naturally full eyebrows you can use them to give a really soft natural look to your eyebrows they create the illusion of a shadow under the hairs which um, makes the eyebrows look fuller if you're looking for something that can give a little bit more definition to your eyebrows the pencils are perfect for you they're great for those of you who over twist your eyebrows or you just have lots of sparse areas one good thing about them is that you don't need extra tools to apply them like you don't need a brush or anything like that make sure that you pick one that has fine tip and creamy formula and again use really light pressure when applying it gels will give you the most natural look from all of these products you can go with a clear one just to brush the hair and keep them in place or you can go with a tinted one and add some definition to your brows they're really quick and easy to use perfect for beginners and always make sure that you brush the hairs upwards pomades are really really pigmented brow products um, they're like a gel eyeliner but for your eyebrows you can also use them like an eyeliner though if you want to they're perfect if you have very few brow hairs or no hairs at all or you just want to go with really dramatic brows i want to recommend them for beginners because you can very quickly end up with really dark harsh eyebrows and not realize how, how you did that <laughs> a little goes a very long way so you want to use very light hand you want to take a very small amount of product at time and concentrate it mostly at the tail and at the arch area right here definitely not at the front part and because it's so pigmented you'll be able to do crisp lines which is also going to allow you to do more defined eyebrows So I really hope you guys find this video helpful and if you do, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You can also check my other two videos about the common mistakes when applying mascara and eyeliner. I have them somewhere here so you can just click and go and watch them if you're interested. Don't forget that you can also follow me on my Instagram, Facebook, Twitter and also visit my blog. All of the links will be listed down in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!